on to WCW Worldwide. The World Tag Team titles are at stake this week on the program. And here are two youngsters, freshmen of the WCW Power Plant. On the right, Mark Zindrak. On the left, Sean O'Hare. And they are set to challenge the team of the perfect event, Perfection, Sean Stasiak and Chuck Palumbo for the tag team belts. And those titles are on the line this week. You know, Mike, say what you want to about the advent of the new blood and of Eric Bischoff and Vince Russo and what they have done to the extreme measures. They have done things at the expense of the Millionaires Club. The end result is the fact that we are seeing brand new talent, fresh blood, new blood, if you will, on this program. And I think it's made for great programs. Crowbar, the, the Young Dragons, Alan Funk, Mike Sanders, and the trio of Storm Knight Eat that we all saw earlier. And now these two young men, the World Tag Team Champions, it's making for some great action here on WCW and all of our programs. Well, it's great to see the legends of our sport, the veterans, it's also terrific to see World Championship Wrestling giving the new blood, the youngsters, an opportunity to shine, giving them a stage to perform. And as we've seen, this tag team of Chuck Palumbo and Sean Stasiak, they may have been very fortunate in gaining the World Tag Team titles. I think the cat had a little bit of play in that as uh, in his role as commissioner. But one thing you can't deny is since winning those belts several weeks back, they've been able to maintain them and retain them those tag titles despite several challenges. It always pans out if you are a good athlete, if you are a good team, and you're good wrestlers, regardless of what level playing field is going to be laid out for you, you're going to perform, you're going to rise to the occasion. There's so much on the line July the 9th at Bash at the Beach, including Scott Hall's contract at stake, and Kevin Nash faces the man who holds the power, who holds the control of Scott Hall's contract in Goldberg. You take a look at what's going on now with the new blood and you add Goldberg into the mix. I can tell you right now, it appears, and I may be wrong and I'm not taking sides, that the new blood under Bischoff and Russo basically could be, oh, what a drop kick, could be just months away from obliterating forever the Millionaire's Club. That's going to be a very difficult thing to do, but... Certainly in the ring, as we mentioned earlier, this is the future of World Championship Wrestling. Mark Zindrak, Sean O'Hare have the World Tag Team Champions in general, and in particular, Sean Stasiak reeling in the opening minutes of this matchup. Sean O'Hare, tremendous background in athletics, both in gymnastics as well as in shoot fighting, and he just unloads a right hand to the side of the head of perfection, Sean Stasiak. You know that O'Hare, he had that spectacular move from the top a week ago that won the match in their debut here on Worldwide. So you know he's got to be working on a lot of adrenaline, a lot of emotion right now. Feels very good about his chances here, and that's always a bonus when you're wrestling for the tank team belt. And when you're getting that chance to shine on a program like Worldwide, and you capitalize like the team of Sean O'Hare and Mark Zindrak did last week, it's great to see the WCW promoters giving them the opportunity at Palumbo and Stasiak for the title. Good cover now by O'Hare and barely a one count on Palumbo. When Palumbo really walked into a great situation, he was just coming into his own when the New Blood was, was kind of uh, made official by Bischoff and Russo, and he immediately attacked the total package, what we call, what we call that, and stepped. How many guys from a power plant, maybe three months out of the power plant, can say they're a world champion? Now you can count those on maybe one finger, and that it was less a little longer than three months, but obviously Goldberg is probably the only person that's been able to make that kind of a quick transition. Colombo, however, as well, has been able to take advantage of the opening that he's been giving in the perfect event, now using the double team tactics off the spinning neck break. Stasiak hook of a leg and a two count on Sean O'Hare. You know, we can talk so much about the great background and the uh, second-generation wrestler that Sean Stasiak is. You can be a second-generation wrestler, but if you can't go, if you don't have the athletic ability, it doesn't do you a bit of good. You're right, that second generation only gets your foot in the door. Right. It's where you take it from there, and Sean Stasiak has proven that he belongs with the stars of WCW. Oh. Palumbo, big man, six foot five, 265 pounds, goes airborne, and then goes to the cover, but Jindrak able to come in and break up the pin attempt by Palumbo on O'Hare. It's a great veteran move from a young man, Jindrak, to break the count because Palumbo had a great move. A lot of momentum going his way. It was very
Rick Cox with the cover, and that kick that time from Zindrak, although maybe it was not needed, was just sending a message to the Tag Team Champions that they're still in it. Sensational agility that time by O'Hare, and then he's able to take Colombo and slam him down to the mat as Colombo came out of the corner. And I think he hurt himself, though, Mike. I think that time that O'Hare hit as hard as Colombo did. Yeah, both men here having a difficult time to recover would be very important for Sean O'Hare to get to the corner. Get his tag partner, the fresh man, Mark Jindrak, into the battle, and probably the same could be said for Colombo. And now both tags are made, and it will be Jindrak and Stasiak. Jindrak, stuck at the clothesline, and then answers with a pair of clotheslines, a back elbow, and there's a drop kick for Colombo. Jindrak with a basketball background. Putting the boots in the corner to Stasiak. Meanwhile, Colombo and O'Hare battle on the arena floor. Scoop and a slam by Zindrak. Now measuring Stasiak. Springboard back with the moonsault, but referee has been distracted in there. You see Colombo with the Lex Flexer, and he just nailed Zindrak in the back. Now with O'Hare out of the matchup, with O'Hare on the floor. The double team tactic by the tag team champions in perfect event just drove Jindrak face first to the mat. Legs hooked, shoulders down. There's the three count. They keep the tag titles. Well, that's unfortunate for O'Hare and Jindrak that it had to go down that way. But one thing that we have come to know is following the rise of the new world tag team champions in the perfect event is that they will take the advantage of using that Lex Flexer when necessary. They found it necessary here in this matchup, and there was nothing uh, Mark Jindrak or John O'Hare could do. John O'Hare's not done. John O'Hare realized what happened. That spin kick was not really on target, but I think Colombo got the message anyway. How about that? The youngster, Sean O'Hare, just cleared the ring of the World Tag Team Champions. Here's another look at the action in the tag title match. Jindrak had things going their way. That's uh, just tremendous leg strength by Jindrak that time. Here was the back of Jindrak that The referee was looking to a hair on the outside. The double pin kick put down Jindrak. Went down with a leg flexor there. Then, Colombo and Stasiak maintain their hold on the tag titles and let's send it back to the studio.